Hi right, guys, man. Welcome back to the channel. G Max Zilla here. In this video, how to get the jet gun in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Man, the jet gun is extremely powerful. It basically sucks zombies in and chews them up so you don't have to worry about them. Great for hordes of zombies. And the best thing is, it's unlimited ammo supply. That's right. You do not need to continue to get ammo, man. So, let's go. All right, guys. So, just how to get the jet gun in Black Ops 6 Zombies, man. I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. You need three items. We're going to go over all three items. And you don't have to complete these in any particular order. But I'm going to show you guys one of the quickest ways to do it. And that's the way that I did it. I'm going to show you guys all right now. Before we get started, though, real quick, I got to say, shout out to my guys at MitchPackers.com, man. If you guys need camos for Black Ops 6 or zombies, maybe you need bot livers to grind camos, anything like that, man, check them out, guys. They're offering... You guys, my audience, 5% off your order. If you want to unlock the brand new Dark Matter, Abyss, and Nebula camels in Black Ops 6 or grind them extremely quick in bot lobbies, be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest, most reliable in Call of Duty, completely legitimate for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC with lightning fast delivery. Browse through over 10,000 verified reviews. They are the go to for all things Call of Duty, man. Yo, use my code GMAC, 5% off. Alright guys, now I suggest the first two to three rounds just concentrate on killing zombies because you are going to need essence in order to do things like get ammo and open the required gates. Now the first gate is this one right here on the way to the bowling alley, Liberty Lanes. You want to get that one first and don't, you don't have to go to it yet, but I'm just saying that's the one you're going to need. The next one to unlock is right there to Riverside. Those two are you going to need first. And of course, like I said, you know, keep, keep killing zombies and stuff like that because you're definitely going to need ammo. And there's also one more gate to open. Just one more gate to open. And it's right here that will take you to the flower shop. So the flower shop is going to have an item that we're going to need in order to get the first thing that we need for <laughs> the actual jet gun. It's called the valve. we got to get the valve for the jet gun. So, basically, once you get that, like you've just seen, all you have to do is just activate next to that uh, flower shop and get that item. And then you're going to want to make your way to Liberty Lanes, just like we opened that gate. That's why we opened that gate earlier, so we can just come here. Now, when you get to right here, it's going to be a little panel. You just melee that panel. It took me a second. I just switched the mouse and keyboard, guys, so I'm still getting used to my freaking keys over here. Now, you have to hold down your button to activate it. And what you're going to have to do is continue to hold down the activation in order to, to complete it. thing about it is, um, there's going to be a lot of zombies. So here's my suggestion, guys. This is what I did, right? So I waited until the end of the round, close to the end of the round, with like two, maybe three straggle zombies. That way it's a little bit easier. However, that's going to make it easier for like the first few minutes. But that's good, though. However, when you... Get, really get going and holding it down. There are more zombies are going to come. But at least just starting off, I did find it really easy to get it going with just one or two zombies following me. And then I go ahead and, and continue to uh, hold it down. Now, here is the trick right here, guys. When the zombies really start coming, as you can see right here, got a good bunch of them behind me. I started to, I would activate it for a little bit until I start getting clapped. <laughs> and then I would just run around Hands out only, no weapons, because you run faster. Run, take this path right here, inside of the bowling alley. They're going to trail behind you and train. Just train them like that, guys. Trust me. This is like the last one right here, I believe. And, then, and basically, that's all you got to do. You just keep doing that, guys. What's going to happen is, at the very last point, it's going to nuke the zombies, and it's going to drop the pressure gauge. So the pressure gauge is the atom that you need. All right, now the next area you want to unlock is going to be the area to get to the cemetery and the church, dark ether area. This one is a little bit easier, but we got to get a tool shed key so we can get a handbrake out of the tool shed. Now, you got to kill a zombie in the cemetery area, and that is the groundkeeper zombie. There's no other zombie that looks like him, and it even says groundkeeper on his name. Uh, but he's going to drop the tool shed key. I'm going to show you right now where the tool shed is. Basically, come out the cemetery right here. Come on down this road right here. Hang a left. Hang another left. Tool shed is going to be right here. Then it's going to open this door to the tool shed and then grab the second item for the jet gun. And that is the hand brake. 
That is the second item. Just kind of be careful because zombies may still be after you. Alright guys, so for this last item, you're going to need the Mangler Cannon. So you can wait till wave 11. That's when the Mangler shows up. Then just shoot his arm, which is the cannon. And then kill him, of course. And then grab the Mangler Cannon. Or if you are level 20, you can actually craft one at a workbench. But you have to be level 20. And it's, I think it costs like... 1500 or 1200 in salvage but basically when you get that across the street from the comic book store is this electronic superstore it's the electronic place right here you have to blast that door with the mangler cannon and then try to activate one of these puddles now again I'm still again used to my keys so i just cleared the area right here and i tried to do it myself but like i said i just switched over from uh, xbox controller to keyboard so i really didn't know what i was doing right here but watch my uh, teammate come here boom watch him activate it he was able to activate it really quick and get the last item that you need for the jet gun now the only thing left to do guys is go ahead and build the jet gun so you got all the items you just come to the second floor of the motel. Now, one quick thing. Right, if you right, haven't been to the second, second floor zombies. near this door here to the left, zombies are going to just pour out of there. But if you've already been up here, then they're not going to bust that door open and come out of there. Now, I've already been up there, so I didn't have to worry about it. Now, just be careful in here. Zombies may be after you, so just clear it first. And then there is the crafting table right there. And just go ahead and hold down your button. And then basically build it. Like I said, be careful because, you know, zombies may still be after you, but you should be fine. And then, like I said, there it is. Now, if you don't have any uh, secondary weapon, it's going to become your secondary weapon. But if you have both your primary and secondary weapon slots full, it's going to replace whatever weapon you use when you craft it. So just be mindful of that. Now, here is how this thing works, guys. You basically just hold down the trigger, and it will just continue to suck zombies in and just kill them. Works really good on 1v1 and um, like hordes of zombies as well. And here's the awesome thing, like I said earlier in the first part of the video. As you can see, it's recharging its own ammunition. So you do not need to grab ammo and buy ammo, spend essence on ammunition. Don't have to do that, guys. It's just going to keep getting its own ammo. It's going to keep recharging itself, I should say. So you don't have to worry about, you know, you're going to run out of ammo. Now, once you get all the way low, then yes, you will have to give it some time to start getting more. But as soon as you have, like, five or six, then yeah, you're really good to go again. Now, in the perfect world, it will work on special zombies like this Mega Bomb Nation right here. But I've tried it on Mega Bomb Nation. Has no effect, guys. In a perfect world, Yes, that would be awesome. Maybe they will add that kind of functionality and some kind of feature later on in the game, or maybe in season one or season two or whatever. But also, it does not work on Manglers. I tried on Manglers. I tried on Mega Abomination. Doesn't work. But regular zombies like this right here works perfectly. So there it is, guys. In a nutshell, that's everything you need to know about the jet gun, how to get it, and how to use it, and all that stuff, man. So yeah, that is the video. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for more content, Black Ops 8 Zombies, man, stay tuned to the channel, guys, because I'm going right now on Black Ops 8 Zombies. Love this game. I'm loving this gameplay. And, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.